Okay, EG versus Liquid. Um, EG have just won the pistol. They're the kings of winning the third round, the bonus round. So I like Liquid's approach of not trying to give them any orbs into this. So I thought, looking all right, nice start, nice little extra additional plan that they had to make sure that EG had a harder time to win the bonus, right? They've been incredible at it. And turns out <laughs> they don't need the alts to do it as well sometimes. Even though Bustio is pretty close and they were starting to get him orbs, um, this was a little bit too obvious hearing the door open. They know that push is going to come. The trades were almost there. Nat survives on 2 HP. Really, really close on this one. We go onto a 3 on 3. Just going to kind of fast forward this a little bit. Um, and yeah, I just thought the spacing of EG, just making sure that they could get the trades no matter what was really good. Um, look at Com the whole time throughout this. Uh, it just takes a bit of a timing. Once they're focused on uh, B main, he just kind of sneaks up and makes sure no matter what the trade's coming in. Um, and then as well, the kill over towards heaven was really impressive. Com probably had his standout game for me. His impact was outrageous. Um, in all of the big, in all of the big rounds where they needed someone to step up, a lot of the time it was him. So yeah, very impressed with that. We go down to one four. Liquid have just won a round, and their money's relatively low. I mean, this is just everyone's money's relatively low, right? It's a, it's a big impact round, big swing round. And this is what EG are the best at. They're the best at planning ahead, getting alts on into these big rounds and using them well. Jorgamo won away. Ethan has his ult. This is a classic EG maneuver where they have one person and they have an ult behind it. So when you're using the breach ult, you just think that there's multiple numbers there. EG, a lot of the time, after the punish from the bonus as well, were able to get the the orb from Arcade all the time. Um, sorry, from Tree all the time. Yeah, just this. They get the early information that they're flanking with a death here, but yeah, just the overwhelm, the double ults used together, give them the advantage into this one. And I just thought they played it really well, forcing Liquid down to an eco. EG won the eco, and then we have this round here. So another round, another big round in terms of money. Right, all the money's low here. And of course, they have two alts and they are one away from comms alt. So they're planning to this one, nicely fought out. Um, maybe Liquid could have been a bit more proactive, EG are doing this all, all the time. Um, so yeah, maybe my criticism to Liquid would kind of be, maybe had to be a little bit more proactive at the beginning. I'd like to see an anti-killjoy, but maybe they were scared that they had used that anti-killjoy too much. Um, Shock Dot's coming in to try and break the trips that are here. They use the they use the ult, and then they use the Brim ult on top of it in case anyone's here. Try and get a kill with the stun as well, delay some time. And like we said, Com is one away, and Com gets his ult into this with the plant. So, love this a lot just again just thinking ahead just making sure that person that is like one away is either getting an orb or getting an, an ult or and when they have these alts they're making sure that they're using them into the most important round to just give them the advantage all three alts used into this they know if they win this they're going to force them down to an eco and yeah just even playing underpass time was just run run so low they had aftershock as well from the breach so no matter even if the jewels go the way of liquid the time's just so low and there's nothing they can do either way so love the approach from them i think they're the best team i've seen at planning ahead and they always have very very good plans with the alts we now go into a round another another big round in terms of the money and we have no alts so how are they going to deal with this this is also the thing <laughs> at the moment the individuals from eg just look so unreal they're all having like standout events for me personally um and com especially as i said in the beginning of this just really goes above and beyond getting two kills over towards here and just one of the most important rounds like the the round that liquid just kind of needs to win they don't have the alts to actually overwhelm and he just gets a double kill pretty much just taking two individual angels thought it was really smart from him he did great and just his individual game like gameplay was great I thought it was really good. wanted to highlight this as well. So not only are they insane in the rounds that they have their ults, but the, the eco rounds, right? They're so good at making sure that they get ults online. They already have one, um, and they've got Jorgamo. I think he got some kills into this round. And the whole plan was to have Common as a, lank, uh, a flank on this one, right? He's just lurking. And let's, so he's four away, and let's just kind of watch how they, they like to play this. So luck is great. He's going to get one here. So now he's three away from his ult. And we're just going to watch how they all kind of enable him after he gets this kill. So he gets this. He's not, They now know he's one away. 
And he's probably calling this. He's like, I'm one away. Look at the spacing, right? People can take jewels here, but they actually just let him go for this. So no matter what, they were letting him go. They realized their money's so good that they can just buy him a new gun if he goes down. And they just want that all point. Just one away now as we move into the next round. As we said, we had um, Ethan's ult. One away now from comms ult. We'll see him pick this up from Dish, and they're going to do the same thing that they do with the Breach ult, right? Breach ult over towards here. Pressure because it's the Breach ult, but actually the real hit's coming in from uh, Dish. And yeah, you're going to see Com. He's going to pick it up so fast, uh, and then he's going to insta ult. So yeah, Recon goes in. A little bit of bad timing with that, but again, I was just uh, just insanely impressed with with how they're doing these rounds. Just uh, even even the rounds prior to these rounds, they're thinking ahead, just making sure that they can get the alts online into these big buy rounds. Um, yeah, I, I just I just again, where we get to the the all important rounds, they they are, just have an edge every single time. Jorgamo. One away. What's going to happen? They begin in the tree orb, like I said, for free all the time. If I'm uh, if I'm critical to liquid, basically, I felt like they didn't go aggro enough. You can't give EG this much space. Um, they're just going to go around, get alts into this, and on a map where there's four orbs, it feels like it feels like that's what they want, right? They get over towards site, and like we said as well, they just have so much util to kind of delay. They even have their drone vented over towards the site, and yeah, I was just really impressed once again with just their fracture. It was uh, it was really really nice, especially their attack. And then e and then we go over towards this. So EG managed to win the last round. It was eleven one half. Liquid one pistol, right? That normally doesn't happen. EG normally don't lose pistols. <laughs> and then and then we have this so we have a death over towards underpass and then turret takes contact so the three people go aggro they know that this one person died in underpass they know that he's low and they could potentially get a gun so they stand on top of this they get a gun boostio gets a kill as well over towards over towards dish and it's looking a little bit worrying we'll speed this one ahead ever so slightly let me just move this back and just the just the way that they did this, just the jump across to make sure that they could trade kills. Um, it felt like safes and Soulcast's comms weren't great. Safe kind of wanted to take contact, then nade, but Soulcast swung before the nade went off, and they kind of should have naded, then isolated, then swung together, or both double swung and then naded. So yeah, a little bit of um, a disconnect from the Liquid guys, and just in an incredible game from. Uh, EG in general. I just thought it was great. 13 to 2. Um, like we said, just the best team at the moment in planning ahead and then just using the alts to give them the, the advantage in the big buy round. Um, yeah, it's pretty much the Valorant of the future. That's what Saicho said uh, in one of the other games. And I have to agree, when I watch them on this map, it looks like it. When you give them, they're kind of similar to the old DRX. When you give them space, it just feels like they're going to completely dominate the game. You kind of want to go aggro against them and mess up their game plan. And I only saw like two aggro rounds from Liquid. So yeah, I wasn't super impressed by that. Um, a big reason potentially is because three of their agents are relatively passive agents on defense. You don't not exactly gonna go hunting with the two smokers and or the cipher, so maybe that came into play. Then we go over towards Haven, and like we said, EG normally win pistols. Had some crazy rounds here where EG wanted to um, crunch heavy over towards A. It failed. Com 16 HP. <laughs> 16 HP. It is outrageous. It's actually so good that I'm just gonna let them do the replay again. Just because it's uh, also you should look at uh, Nats' reaction in the last in the last segment once he goes down, kind of just sums it all up. I think he was the last person to swing and take the take the last bullet. I mean, this is one of the best. This is one of the best clips I've seen in Valorant. You don't see this. Look at that! It's ridiculous. Look at Nats down here. Yeah, kind of just sums it up for that. Absolutely outrageous. Uh, another pistol for EG. When their when their original strat fails, like I'm saying, their uh, individuals step up and com. For me, once again, was just the best in this. Uh, really good rounds from him. Really good, really good series from him. To be honest, uh, a big standout. This was a little bit odd. Um, so EG won pistol. They won the anti eco. Liquid won the fast against the bonus, and then. We had this bit of a misplay 
kind of did a shot early on to let them know that they're coming so that everyone had their util out, everyone was ready. Um, the setup was pretty good from EG no matter what. Anyway, we had recon, we had smoke, we had, uh, we had Killjoy, Molly, we had stun as well. But yeah, just the overwhelm and then the ult on top of this as well was just kind of just sealed it. And then, 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 then we had this big this big decision where Liquid decided to save because this round fell apart so much and that just meant that everyone over here gets 3,000 and their money just snowballed out of control giving them a great start into the half pretty much the most perfect start you would want apart from the uh, round that they obviously lost. Now we go back into it as well and we try to make some A pressure. They block vision and they do a dog over towards short but honestly he was kind of watching this the whole time with the drone Com didn't believe it fully with the smoke and he just falls back, plays retake, but calls his team to just hold the same the same uh, default that they are at the moment, which is just heavy towards garage. The bait comes in, they get the first two kills, quickly look over towards the money of Liquid. Not great, massive impact rounds. And yeah, again, just nicely done from Com, not believing the hit and just telling his team to just uh, hold strong. Uh, yeah, and maybe the A, the A push like the A pushback needed to be a little bit stronger to uh, create the question marks over towards short and long. Liquid then started going over towards B. This was a low buy from them. I like the plan of going over towards B when you're up against an Astra because Astra only has four stars and a lot of the time on the retake in B, if you don't have vision to block where I've drawn this line, you're going to have a really rough time. Um, Jorgamo actually goes down. Redgar gets the most important kill. And then Yampi plays this really well. Very patient. Um... EG on site, maybe go a little bit slow, but again, they know that they don't have vision and they're kind of just waiting for Demon to play here. I thought that Yampi played it very well. Insane patience from him. Um, and then, yeah, like I'm saying, the B strat against a Astro works a lot. Um, it's, it's just a good strat to do against an Astro, especially when Astro is doing like a smoke and then a suck at the beginning. Like I'm saying, very hard to defuse this when you can't block vision. So I do like that strat of just going against the Astro, just hitting B a lot. And it felt like they started to implement this a good amount of times. We saw it. Um, we saw it. I think it's three rounds in a row, actually, that we saw it this round as well. They baited it in with a Killjoy all over towards C, try and get a rotate and then hit over towards B, but actually take the A connector. I like this a lot. I thought it was really good. Also, like I'm saying, going B against an Astra is great. And uh, yeah, this bit of map control was really, really cool. Yeah, a bit of a bit of a jump bug. Safe has that often, but Yampi did did good into this. And I think we eventually saw a pause afterwards to kind of talk about how they wanted to approach B. We had this round where. Ah uh, man, it, it, like they went B again, but Redguard did this, uh, he does his A default where he goes a little bit aggro, and I, I really kind of hate it, and EG exploited it. Then they went to try it and hit B, but they had no smokes, so it really kind of fell apart. So that's why that round was uh, was won. Then, um, because they kept on going B, like literally three rounds in a row we saw it, EG decided to do this aggro push over towards middle. Liquid are just still going right. Well, if we had a smoker here, we would have won this so we can keep going B. And then, yeah, EG called this kind of punish for middle. Everyone's facing. We have comms all coming in from the side as well that they have to dodge. We got we got two person swing from middle. We got one person from garage getting enabled with with the uh with comms alt as well i just thought it was a very nice plan and just a good way to shut down b it's not uh it's not holding b heavier it's just going aggro and stopping their plan another b hit of course because that's what's been working why would liquid do anything else shout out to nats he actually had a pretty good game in the end um getting clutches looking like prime nuts that we used to that we're kind of just used to um but honestly it just wasn't enough through some of this Liquid kept on getting dominated at short. No matter what happened, if there was a stun, the timing was slightly off. The overwhelm, even the seekers that he's killing here before he gets the two kills. So short was just not a. It was just. It was just not the place for them. Um, Eg just coming out on top every single time. Then we go over towards the second half. Um, it was a seven-five half. Liquid now won the pistol, and this is their bonus against the B here. Uh, sorry, see here. 
I just wanted to just show this. It was a it was a close round. It was just cool. It's just another kind of highlight of just how good Com is. This kill here is outrageous. Forces it down to one on two. They do manage to win it. Um, they go all the way over towards A. But I, I just thought really nice again. Another highlight of Com, and again, just why I'm saying that he had just the best series I've seen him have. This. Okay, so then we had a buy round afterwards, and they won it, and they forced them down to eco. This felt really odd for me. Liquid, against a low buy, decided to play retake on A when they had no alts. They also had the op in play, which I don't really recommend. Um, leaving A when you have the op in play makes it a little bit harder. I also wanted to just shout out EG. They looked into Liquid's retake. They realized that they can't play under Balk, and I love how they approach this. They plant in the open. They have three people that are behind the second wave and then we have the first wave on site trying to do damage and the plant's good it's a good plant for long and short and we also have comms all to um help delay so yeah, as soon as this original hit comes in you're going to see why they can't play underpass right that gets all of the corners um and then the smoke comes in he can then get into underpass which they think that they've cleared all comes in try and delay the actual push does do a lot of damage i think he connected with two and then, yeah, just the actual not expecting underpass with all of this. And just the after plant here. Ethan does incredible to get this kill. Um, obviously, taking down the low HP that we saw from the Sova ult doing so much damage. Jorgamo, time is super low, so that's why they have to stick it. Jorgamo just so patient. Nice 1v3 from him. And yeah, just a great round overall. Maybe Liquid shouldn't have played retake against the low buy. And then we had another, it, honestly, it did start turning into a few rounds where Liquid were just making mistakes in my mind. Um, they've just used the Killjoy all. The spike's gone down, so everyone's forced to go down over towards C. It's all about Redgar's smoke. Redgar then does this smoke. Obviously, they Redgar then does this smoke, which for me is like a no-no. What you want to do a lot of times, you want to smoke the spike itself, which then means that you can duel in front of it. Otherwise, you just give them full freedom to stand anywhere here and just spam the uh, plant itself. So, yeah, that was a bit of a mistake for me. They do manage to get it half, but as you can see, like they're just freely spamming here the whole time, managing to get everyone that's just sticking onto the spike and even even though um even though safe is on top of the site his vision's blocked by the smoke so it's just a guess game soulcast does well to make it doable nuts has obviously killed the lurk but in return got hit by the ult and yeah bustio plays it well but just time is low as well and yeah just another mistake in terms of the smoke for me got to be smoking the spike you want to be punishing the people that are spamming the diffuser and when the vision's blocked, you can't really do that. It just turns into a 50-50. Okay. And now we get into this big buy round. The alt misses Regar. Regar does great. He's done incredible. We then go into this situation. Yampi's here. He has his alt. Regar has his flash. He flashes. And he just goes through a little bit too early. I just needed some comms here to just make sure that they could go in together with this. And yeah, these kind of little... Little things where maybe t people are getting a bit too eager was just the difference for this one. Um, a lot of big rounds that um, kind of kind of got lost from, in my opinion, Liquid's mistakes. Um, and yeah, just another just another big individual game from EG as a team. They look incredible. Love their rounds. I think this is one of their weaker maps, but honestly, getting the pistol and just their plans of looking at how the enemy team likes to play and like we're seeing just in like the after plant on Haven and stuff like that. Um, really just liking to see that they are changing up their normal style to a style that they think would work against um, Liquid. So yeah, super happy. EG is going to be playing <laughs> EG is going to be playing Fnatic. I'm really excited for this game. They're both looking um, potentially in the best form they've ever looked, both of these teams. So it should be an absolute banger. In terms of Liquid, they go down to play NRG, and I think I'm a little bit worried. They can't play. They can't be playing this level. They have to be playing a better level than what we've kind of seen from them in this game to win that one, in my opinion. So slightly worried, um, but yeah, we'll see how it goes. A little bit longer on this one. We almost got it under... 20 minutes so that's not too bad um if you like this kind of content you know what to do let me know in the comments and i will see you on the next one